Hello everyone, welcome to Anmus Classroom. In this session, we will be talking about the various types of production systems that are available or uh, what you can say that are being used in production process throughout the organizations in the world. I hope these sessions are useful to you. I am trying to keep them as you know, a single topic being discussed in every session and we were going a little bit in depth and also uh, checking on the possible term and examination questions that have come up from these topics. Now, types of production systems, again, is a, one of the favorite topics of your term and examination question paper makers. Mainly, they get asked as give short note on one of the uh, one of the production systems. We have an entire block, I think block two, that is dedicated to, uh, that is having each unit dedicated to one of these production systems. So, from there, you could get a short note or you could get a, what you can say, um, an elaborate question. Like that, it comes. Or you could get a question like describe the various types of production systems with appropriate examples. That is also possible. Okay. So, let us uh, look into what all are the different types of production systems. So, mainly there are four types of production systems. First being the mass, pro mass production system which is also known as flow line production system or continuous production system. So, when it comes to mass production you can think of um, a lot of cars being assembled in a fa factory or phones being assembled even your lace or bingo chips being manufactured all these things are mass produced items so what happens here is in mass production or flow line continuous flow production system the system keeps on churning out output continuously from one end you feed the potatoes if you talk about lace factory from one end you're feeding potatoes and lot of things are happening at every stage of production one machine will clean the potatoes rinse them the other will peel them one uh, down the line some other machine will be cutting them then they might blanch them they might fry them season them then pack away and package and then seal the package and in the other end the packets flow into cartons to be shipped out right so that is the continuous flow production system so definitely you might have guessed by now manufacture happens on large quantities and um, the characteristic of the product here is very important. Mass produced products will be of a standardized nature. The packet of lace that you get and the packet of lace that I get won't be much different. Say yeah, we both are buying 20 rupee packets. We both will have exactly the same taste and the same weight also. Similarly, if I get an iPhone 14 and you buy an iPhone 14, we both are going to have the same set of features. Correct? Out of the box, it's going to be exactly same. That means what? The products are standardized. So, and for that standardization, usually we use assembly lines or automation technology. For example, our canned foods or uh, smartphones, all these things are mass produced items. They have their own advantages and their own disadvantages. So, what would be the advantage of such a mass produced system? We will have uniform quantity of output and automated control of time and labor becomes possible. There is a reduction in the overhead cost and we can expect on a quick return on capital. But at the same time, disadvantage is that we have very limited variety. It has high startup as well as fixed cost because we will have to set up this assembly line and set up a standardized procedure and things like that. And a block in any one stage will jam the whole system. Suppose say if there is a block in the, let's take the example of our lace or bingo, your favorite chips also. Okay, suppose say there is a blockage in the system which is used to or the machine which is used to slice. The entire production assembly is disrupted until and unless that machine gets fixed. So that is one issue. Okay, so a block in any one stage could jam the whole system. So those are, so that is what mass production system is, its advantages and disadvantages. Now the next production type is batch production. You can think of your bakery items, bread or even car parts. They are all uh, what you can say batch produced systems so in that what happens you are producing a group of identical goods simultaneously okay in batches like for example you think of a bakery that is the easiest example the baker will uh, and think of your favorite uh, item also from the bakery maybe some of you would like uh, puffs some of you might like pastry some of you might be liking cupcakes donuts for me personally i like something called as undaburi in our area Okay, it is kind of like a bonda kind of thing, but sweet. Sweet as it, like uh, it's I think made with uh, wheat flour and um, banana and all those things. I don't know. It's very difficult to come by these days, you know, but it's my favorite what to do. Huh. So, when you think of such things, how they will do? They will 
uh, they will take a some amount of flour some uh, and make the batter and maybe they will be uh, depending upon their oven size maybe they will put it in batches so they will prepare batter enough for say 10 cupcakes or 50 cupcakes even 100 cupcakes they will pour it into trays put it in the oven when none that batch is done they will take it out and when that is sold out uh, by the time they get sold out only depending upon the uh, what you can say demand for that item the next batch gets produced correct so small small I, so in that one batch definitely all the cakes are going to be same but in the next batch maybe sugar might be a little bit more or less or maybe uh, the batch got slightly overcooked or slightly undercooked maybe the salt was a little too much on if it is a puff pastry something like that could happen between batches there could be slight variations or even drastic variations but a single batch the product is going to be the same correct so a group of identical goods are produced simultaneously again in this type of production system also there will be advantages as well as disadvantages so what is the advantage here large variety of products can be manufactured with the same oven with the same batter you can also bake cupcakes you can also bake cakes in batches correct so we can have a large variety of products and with comparatively low capital investment but the disadvantage is that because of this large variety high inventory and storage requirements will be there cupcakes maybe can be stored outside but cakes might be needing refrigeration things like that high inventory and storage requirements as well as idle time between batches for the whole amount of time between your batches your oven will be sitting simply correct or your batter or those machines which makes your batter your mixer all those things will be sitting idle so that is another disadvantage of such a production system then the third type of production system we have to know about is the job shop production system so here what we do is we manufacture small batches of a variety of custom products like for example limited item item limited edition items commercial printing press your designer clothes not designer clothes exactly uh, that is another type of uh, i would say production system but uh, let's say um, yeah so these are good enough right so sometimes what will happen there will be limited edition stuff that is the best example over here in job shop production there will be like only 50 items available for the whole world right so grab yours fast so they are they are produced in batches correct yes but they are customized so you can say it is much more smaller batches compared to your batch production system okay it is custom products say maybe like when samsung flip introduced they gave a custom edition for bts lovers in purple that is a custom edition so that is a job shop production system so what are the advantages comparatively small startup investment flexible production system but at the same time disadvantages it is a very complex production process and there we will have high work in progress inventory as well okay so that was the third type of production system then the fourth type is unit manufacturing or projects your designer clothes your wedding wear somebody uh, you go to a designer and say see i want to have a uh, say a wedding wear or a kanjivaram sari but i want our faces to be printed on it or weaved in it on it things like that or you want to build your house or build a ship or even uh, you know things like that or get your birthday cake which will have so and so toppings and so and so flavors maybe one layer is vanilla the other layer is chocolate the third layer you want red velvet who are we to judge right so such things they are unit manufactured they are just produced for you if you are not coming to buy it after they manufacture it it will go waste does anybody else want a sari which has somebody else's face printed on it for their wedding no right so that is unit manufacturing or projects so manufacturing or fulfilling a single project or endeavor having a specific objective within a prescribed time with cost limitation is what unit manufacturing or projects are the characteristics of such a manufacturing production system is that there is a definite start and end times again think about our wedding outfit itself your wedding is on say 5th okay if they get give you uh, say 5th of some month okay maybe 5th of december and they give you uh, your sari 10th of december you want it no right it should have come to you before your wedding so similarly there is definite start and end times it needs a diverse set of skills and resources for its completion and could pass through very distinct activities like think about house building you lay the foundation then you uh, go to the next step like that like like that right it passes through distinct activities and may not be exactly replicable how much ever you try you cannot uh, build exact same houses right how much ever you try 
by somewhere or the other there is bound to be changes so that is one of the other characteristics of a unit manufacturing product so i hope that by the by now you have a general idea of the various types of production systems that we have and you can complement them with appropriate examples also and you can think of their advantages and disadvantages as well okay so i hope you got a general idea now when you go and read your blog too you will have much better idea i hope so just think about ponder upon these concepts and make sure that you prepare yourself well in order to uh, tackle any question that could come from these types of production systems at least at the general level you make sure that you will not have to skip the question at least you will get a good idea on how to write the answer for such questions i hope that this session was useful to you and until i see you in the next session thank you so much all the very best for your terminal examination take care bye bye